in a world where people take advantage and con men exist round every corner comes one unlikely hero introducing worlding man dum da da dum da da dum dum Right then, ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you are watching this. I hope you like my little intro there because YouTube police jumped all over me and said I couldn't use 20 seconds of ACDC. Yeah. Anyway, so I made my own intro, so I made my own, my own ACDC, so I hope you enjoyed that. So... This video is going to be done over, over sort of like two days really, so it's Saturday evening right now, or Saturday night to be honest with you, but I'm hardcore, I, worked, I work late, I work late. So, now, I wanted to give you a bit of advice, you know, because I'm a welding pro now, I'm smashing it. So first of all, I wanted to give you a bit of advice, now, he says. So, the first bit of advice I wanted to give you was... This is, probably can't see, oh you can see actually, this is an auto darkening helmet, 20 odd quid off eBay, um, it's a nice piece of kit really, I think most people are using them. Now one thing I do want to advise is make sure that these are up to date, your batteries, now this one takes an CR2450 which is a proper fat little thing to be, to be honest and I didn't have that in the house, so I went out and bought it. Don't go to Screwfix. Screwfix want £3. I went to supermarket and I got it for a quid. So, so yeah, so we're going to put that in, obviously. So, there's there's a top tip. There's a welding man top tip. So, let me just explain what's going to go on. So, what I'm going to do is I have got a piece of metal. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some spot welds on it. Well, some puddle welds, let's call it. So, I'm going to do quite a few puddle welds, welds on it. Just because that's what I'm going to be doing over the next, well, most of, most of the time. So, I wanted to just get that that in with the slower uh, wire feed speed. And, and, let, and let's see how I feel with that. So, let's see. You'll have to wait for the second part of the video, which will be tomorrow. And explain everything about that. So... That's it. Introduce this now. We're gonna we're gonna do some tack welds on that. Well, spot welds on this, puddle welds, whatever you want to call them. We're gonna do some of them uh, just to see how, how how it feels with the. Oh, oh! What have I not shown you? We well, don't know what I've not shown you because I'm not shown you. <laughs> so, this is what I wanted to show you. Ta da! A new feed roller. Thank you very much, Machine Map. Sending that out free of charge, but you charged me the first time and then didn't send it, so there you go. So, let's see if you can see that. So, that is literally the difference. So, I'm thinking that's even going to make a, a, an even more, a, yeah, an even better improvement to the way the welder's feeding through. So, we're going to stick this in. Before we do this puddle world, so we'll put this in and then we'll do some puddle worlds. So there we go. That one's rubbish because it didn't it didn't connect properly. But I don't know, I'm fairly fairly happy with them. And I did a couple of beads as well. So, I'm, yeah, I'm fairly happy with them. I'll do some more. Uh, I'll do some more beads. I like beading, I like beading now. And then we'll, uh, I'll bring you back in to have a look again. So there we go. More, more spots done. I put a welds. And I also decided, it looks a bit naff there, but it looked really good when I welded it. I've not cleaned it back or anything, but look at the difference. That was when the welder was playing games. And that's just completely seamed, seamed it across. I'm messing about there as well. So yeah, I'm gonna put you back on the tripod. Tripod? A tripod, I've got one of them as well. So bear. So yeah, to say I'm happy is a bit of an understatement really with this with this welder now. It's it's absolutely superb and I can't thank the guy that that, that got me a, a, enough. You know, unbelievable, absolutely top bloke. He knows who he is. 
So I'm so, I'm so, so happy with them now. I, I think I can really crack on now. So, oh, before I, before I finish this evening, I uh, bought some of that as well. Can you see that? World Through Primer. Now, it, it is and it isn't expensive. If you've got a trade card at Alfred's, like, so bad. <laughs> It, I think I paid £8.50 for it or something like that. Well, if you don't have a trade card, I think normal primer's eight eight quid anyway, seven nine nine. I think it is for that size. So it, it, it isn't it? And if you buy the U-Paul stuff, which is you know probably a million times better than that stuff, it is it is it can get quite expensive. It's about sixteen quid a ten. But speaking of Dave Jagabart, because I said I said to him it's quite expensive. He said yeah, but people use it. People try and use it as primer, and then. That's you know that's when it starts becoming expensive. You only need to spray the the, the bits you are welding, and that, I think that's a very fair point to be honest. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Obviously, I'm just going to between the two panels that I'm going to weld up just psh, quick spray, and that's it. So that should last me a very very long time. I think the gas will probably go in the can and the can before I finish it. So that's all I've got time for this evening. But like I said, I will be doing in the same video. I will be I will be showing you things tomorrow as well. So what will be a second for you will be about twelve hours. Right then boys and girls, it's the next evening. So today I'll show you what we're gonna use to do what I need to do. So first of all, let me show you what I got today. So like that. Obviously, a swivel head riveter, uh, hand riveter. Comes with all the bits, spanner, everything like that. Machine marks, Clark. It should have been fifteen fifty nine. God knows how long ago that was, and I paid five pound for it. In local market. This, I especially like this. I'll show you this. Look at how pretty that is. All AF. So that is my little spanner set. Again, uh, there is eight spanners in that. Again, from Machine Mart. That should have been fifteen fifty nine, and I paid five pound, brand new. So, which brings me on to the last bit that I got. This was eight pounds, and this is a three-piece air tool kit. So it comes with airline, comes with tire pressure and it comes with a paint gun. The paint gun is not going to be much to write home about but hey ho I bought it for the for the for the line which is what this is this thing on the floor is going to help me with and then I'll show you what we're doing. So let's have a look. This should have been should have been $24.49 and I paid eight pounds for it. So there we go. So there's that. So like I said I bought it for that because that is going to connect to. Now, I just want to explain something. I can't deal with air compressors, the noise of them, they, they rattle my head, and it's just something I just can't deal with. It just, it hurts my brain. It's only a small brain, and it hurts it. <laughs> so there we go. So what I have borrowed is, I will turn the camera around so you can have a look. Now what this is, is they're called silent compressors, or shh compressors. Uh, it's not a very big one. But it should do the jobs that I need it to do. I borrowed it off my uncle, who's kind of lent it to me. But his airline fixings won't go into what I need. So there we go. So I borrowed that. Now, it's up to pressure. It's plugged in. So there's no noise from it at the moment because it's up to pressure. But hopefully we can get it down pressure and get it to build back up. And I can show you exactly how noisy it is. But these things are amazing. So if I can get hold of one of these, I'm going to get one. Because I just can't deal with compressor noise. They just they annoy me. So... Let's go get the thing, the tool and the airline connected that we're going to need and the part that we're going to need so I can show you what we're up to. So guys, I thought I'd got all the tool and everything uh, but I don't. So, my idea was to press, to hole punch on it, all along here where it welds onto the front panel. Obviously not touching the back or the side where it connects to the A panel because it's going flip front. But that was my plan to hole punch all of them. But it needs one, it needs work anyway. I don't know if you can see in there. Yeah, you can see that needs all uh, knocking down, tapping, making sure it's all flat. Now, the second reason why I can't carry on today is because I've got this beautiful hole punch and 
I don't know what that call, what's that called. I, I can't remember. I've got this beautiful hole punch here that Dave Jaguar has donated to me. Thank you very much, Dave. Absolute legend. This has done many, many minis and uh, many Jaguars, so I feel quite honoured, really. So, the reason I can't carry on is because... <sighs> that will not go in there because that's too big. So, I need to take this to Machine Mart tomorrow so I can get a new quick release, quick release, there, whatever they are, I can't remember. So I need to get a new, a new quick release thing. <laughs> so I don't know how many times I've said that. I've got one there, but I need a male, not a female, because it's got a whole look. That's why it's called a female. There you go, top tip. <laughs> so yeah, so that's where we're up to now. So like I said, I'm going to edit this video now get it out for your Sunday evening tomorrow is today and tomorrow is the last chance you can enter the what car it would be and why on my video where it shows the front end being mocked up so get on there comment on it like I say Holly will be doing the drawing tomorrow because she's seven tomorrow a whole seven years she's been on this planet seven years feels like 27 years but there you go that's why I'm going grey and that's why I'm going bald so there you go so so yeah so we're gonna we're gonna announce that winner tomorrow I, I hope uh, afternoon-ish, really. So make sure you get on there, comment. We're gonna, I'm gonna let her do the, do all the clicking with the mouse and everything like that, so she can announce it, and then I'll read your comment out. If your comment does not say what car it will be and why, we'll have to redraw. So go on there, double check that you have put that, and good luck. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Sorry it's not been as successful as I wanted, but we have got the welder back up and running, which is absolutely great news. Still really happy with the welds. So the plan is we'll tap that back, we'll get a new end for that, and we'll be cracking. We'll be rocking and rolling, as they say. Thanks, guys.